Hello, beautiful people. It is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do the daily reading for today. Today is May the 13th. I hope you guys are having an amazing Thursday. We got one more day into the weekend. Yes. I hope you guys have been doing great. Definitely send you guys lots of love, light, healing energy, and hell of abundance. XOXO. So let's hop in, my loves. Let's see what's coming in for you all as a collective. This is a general reading. It is a collective reading. So please do only take what resonates with you. If I resonate with you guys, please do like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that bell. And if you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com. All right. Let's hop in, loves. Let's see what's going on with you all. Let's start out with some spirit messages. And then we will hop into the reading. Let's see, Spirit of Universe, messages for the collective. What is coming in for the collective for today? All right, that clicked all the way over there. So we have Father Healing. Some of you guys are needing to do some Father Healing. So it says, your personal power increases as you give any Father-related issues to heaven. All right, so this can be Father issues. This can be the uh, father of your child, okay? Or some type of father figure, someone that was a father figure to you. There's some healing that needs to be done. You guys are needing to get your problems, issues, worries, concerns to heaven in regards to the situation so that you guys can heal and fully step into your power and move forward. Your personal power increases as you give these problems and issues to what the universe. All right. We have consult an expert. More information is needed. Contact someone with expertise in this area. So for some of you guys, coaching, counseling, therapy, all right, so that you guys can heal or release this energy. All right, let's see. We have father healing, consult an expert. For some of you guys, you're just going to um, an expert to get more information. This can be for anything. You guys can be going through something court-related, trying to buy something. It can even be like a credit specialist, a realtor, something like that, okay? let's see we have set your sights higher love this so let's see increase your standards and expect more for yourself don't settle so you guys need to set your sights higher do not settle you know your self-worth and value all right empowerment you are more powerful than you realize it's safe for you to be powerful so step into your power guys you guys are more powerful than you realize okay and it's safe for you guys to be powerful but what you guys need to do is work on this father healing. I know that's not going to resonate with everybody because everyone doesn't have kids and everyone doesn't have father issues, okay? But if you do, please heal, release. Ask the universe to step in and help you, okay, with that um, father healing energy card. So let's see. Overall energy. We have, yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. So your intuition is correct when it comes to something. And you guys are needing to take action, okay? So take action. Do follow and trust your intuition at this time. I'm going to go into the Father Healing card. I'm going to see where it has you guys blocked as a collective, all right? For some of you guys, the health card, look, flipped out. Look, look, surrender. So for some of you guys, this is affecting you emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually, okay? So like I said, it doesn't have to be your father it can be the father of your child or um it could be someone that was like a father figure to your children or whoever like you guys know what i'm trying to say raise you father figure etc there's some healing something needs to be done okay when it comes to that situation look forgiveness some of you guys are needing to forgive all right this person so let's see why is the health card coming out with father healing we have teaching and learning, okay? So, yes. For some of you guys, this definitely was a lesson. This was a situation you guys were in. A child is involved, okay? And you guys, you know, went through a lot with this person. And you guys are needing to heal. This person has affected you emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually. For some of you, not all of you, okay? Um, for others of you, if this is like your father, it's like it has affected your relationships, Okay, and you're learning and growing from that. So it's like 
say if like, I don't know, for some of you guys, you guys are attracting someone kind of like your father or because of your father issues, it just, like I said, it just really affected your love life and your relationships or, you know, just friendships in general or with like your issues with like men, trust issues, whatever it could have been. But that was a lesson, teaching and learning. You're learning and healing from that, okay? Spirituality, yes, okay? For some of you guys, this situation helped you go and evolve or, or you are going to go and evolve from this situation. And then, like I said, forgiveness. Forgiveness is here again, okay? So, forgive this person. Forgive your father. Heal from this so that you can move forward. Some of you guys are needing to consult with an expert. Set your sights higher. You guys know your self-worth and value. All right, do not settle. And you guys are more powerful than you guys realize. Something has made you stronger. You are a strong individual. It is safe for you to be powerful at this time. So I do love the messages. All right, let's pull up a few more messages and then we'll hop into the reading. Um, we have consultant experts. So let's kind of see what this is about. We have consultant expert messages for the collective. Consultant expert. Consult an expert. Seek the advice of those you trust. So yeah, some of you guys are needing some type of advice. Are you guys gonna go talk to someone? Okay, so that would definitely make sense. Consult an expert, and then we have winter. Something happened in the winter. Are you guys are like something's gonna shift and change in the winter? Or something happened in the winter, or maybe you guys got advice advice from someone in the winter because we just got into spring. So yeah, it could have been about anything. Like I said, it could have been like tax related, a realtor, therapy, counseling, whatever. Okay, let's see if we can pull one more message on that. Consult an expert. What was this about? Consult an expert. What was this all about? Focus, balance, and prioritize. For some of you guys, it had to do with the court system. You know, like um, getting documents, paperwork, because there's some justice skills there, okay? Like I said, this could have even like a realtor um, starting up a business. It could have been anything that you guys needed help with, assistance with, okay? All right, so that looks good. Let's hop into the reading, guys. Let's kind of do a you versus them so we can see what their energy is at versus your energy. Let's see, Spirit of the Universe. This is for the collective. Messages for the collective. towards them at this time. Okay. So we have the Six of Cups. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Two of Cups. Wow, we have the Page of Wands. Two of Wands. Wow. So this looks bomb. All right, so let's see, guys. This looks good. Um, the person you guys are dealing with, talking to, or whoever came to mind when you guys clicked on this reading or when I asked how they felt towards you, the energy is really good, okay? This person thinks about you all day. They are really into you. Um, you definitely have their attention. They do feel as if there's some type of soulmate connection here. The Page of Wands is like good news. It's passion. It's excitement. This person is excited that they met you. They're excited, like, talking to you, the conversation, so this looks good. We have a lot of fire and water energy. So there can be a fire and water sign relationship. Cancer, of Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And we have the two of wands at the bottom of the deck. So a lot of fire and water energy. So um, you guys may also just be opposite signs. Meaning that like, um, so like the opposite of Leo is Aquarius. Or the opposite of Gemini is Sagittarius. I don't mean that. What I mean opposite is like, one of you guys are masculine. One of you guys are feminine, feminine energy is what I'm getting. I don't, like, for some of you guys, okay? So, like, you may be, like, the fire energy masculine. They may be the water energy feminine. All right? So, let's see. Let's pull a love oracle to see how they feel towards you guys. How does it click this person feel towards them? We have harvest. Wow. That's beautiful. So, it says, you planted the seed. 
that the universe gave you. Due to your patience and growth, you are now able to enjoy the fruits of your labor. So they want to see this relationship grow. Okay? They planted a seed. They prayed for this. They manifested this. And they want to see this <laughs> grow. Like, this looks really good. At the bottom, y'all forgive and heal. As you forgive and heal, your love life again becomes brighter and healthier. So they've been through a lot. They also have released their control issues. Okay, they also feel as if there's some type of past life um, connection between you guys. So you guys have a very strong connection is what it looks like as well. So that looks good. Um, let's definitely clarify. Let's see what's going on, guys. Messages for the collective. So yeah, this looks good. So let's see. Messages for the collective and their person and how their person feels towards them. Why is Page of Wands here? Seven of Swords. Mm, okay. Queen of Wands. <laughs> All right, the world card. So this person wants to be the only one that you talk to and deal with. This person, they like you. You're coming up as a Queen of Wands despite your sign. Okay, but they think that you're like very confident, beautiful. You got it going on. They like, a, they like everything about you. Um, but the seven of swords is like, they feel like you're up to something lying, sneaky, manipulative. They think that you're talking to more than just one person. Hold on guys. My kids are being slick. See, they got their friends ringing the doorbell when they're supposed to be upstairs doing their work. So give me one second. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry y'all. The boys be slick. They be trying to finesse y'all. If you guys hear like any music in the background, that's Carson. He's on his, uh, prodigy, like his math. It's like a little math game for school. Just so you guys know, if you guys hear the noise, it's because it sounds like a little video game but anyway um yeah like so i don't feel like they can't trust you but it's like they flirt with you you guys talk they like you um but they want to be the only one okay so it's like if anybody else is in your life if you got to talk to anyone else they don't they don't they just want to be the only one the world card is here like they're like okay whoever you're talking to whoever you're dealing with cut them off cut them out i just want to talk to you i just want you to talk to me their focus is like you is what I'm getting. So let's see. Yeah, see the 10 swords. They don't want me, they don't want to be friend zone. They don't want to be friends of benefits. So that's a good thing. Okay. Cause if this is their energy towards you, then this is how they feel towards you. You're definitely on their mind. They can't get you off their mind. Okay. So whoever this person is, they're very like and they're very much into you. Okay. They're attracted to you. They think you got it going on. They think you're sexy. They think that between the two of you guys. You're the sneaky one that you, that you might do something, you know, that you might be talking to other people. It could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio that you guys are dealing with. The King of Cups just came up under that. Yes, yeah, the Nine of Swords or Inverse. So they don't want to repeat some type of past situation. So I feel like in the past, whoever they were talking to, they could have talked to someone that, you know, was very attractive, very flirtatious, talked to other people, maybe did something to them in the past. But they don't want to be friend zone. They don't want friends with benefits. They want to be the only one. All right, so they want you to cut off anybody that like you're talking to or anybody that's in the way of you guys coming together. The sun is here. So, yeah, they think very highly of you. They really like you. So let's see why the two of cups is here. Going to the two of cups. Why is the two of cups here? Ten of cups. Wow. <laughs> so, yes, guys, this person is into you for sure. King of swords. <laughs> They're already planning the future. Okay, six of wands. They're already planning the future. They're like, they're like, no, this is it. This is the one. They feel as if you are the one. The Ten of Cups, King of Swords, a world card, this energy, it looks really good, guys. So this definitely could be like the new love that's coming in. This could be a person that you guys just met or that you're about to meet because this energy looks really good. Um, and I, like I said, this person thinks about you a lot. Very positive energy around this person. Um, let's see, why is the Six of Wands here? Nine of Swords in reverse. Moving on from the past. Yep, see King of Cups. Wow. They're ready to love. Their heart is open. Their heart is open and they are ready to love. Like whoever this person is, like they're ready. They're ready for love. Yeah, they're ready. They're ready for some top of the beginning. The strength card in reverse with the King of Swords. I feel like at times they can be insecure. At times they can lack confidence. But this person comes off as like, like very... Like, they're very strong-minded. They're a pursuer. They're definitely into you. The King of Queen of Wands is here. But I feel like you make this person weak a little bit, you know, because they like you a little bit too much. And if they're coming up as the King of Wands, 
the king of wands with the strength card versus someone that is like that doesn't really give in so easily you know um so it's just like i don't know like you guys got them weak in the knees like swv i get so weak in the knees i can hardly sleep i can't sing y'all but y'all know the swv song right so i just feel like looking at these cards i feel like y'all got them weak in the knees yes y'all got them weak in the knees like swv so um they are all about you, you, you. Let's see what's on this King of Swords of mine. Guys, this looks really good. Yes, new love come in one time for the collective. The energy is shifting. So let's see. Y'all gonna be LMA booed up this summer. I can feel it. Wow. Look what's at the bottom of the deck and I stopped. Divine Union. It says, congratulations. It's time to celebrate. Both you and your partner have healed and learned the important lessons to allow this union to manifest. Yes. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yes, guys. I love it. So a lot of this stuff happen, guys. I tell you guys all the time, you know, like, um, guys, just allow the new to come in. Just allow the change, someone different. Like, just, just allow it to happen. Just go with the flow. You know, you just never know. So let's see. We have Divine Union. Let's see what's going on with this King of Swords. Give me one message for the King of Swords. Wow, spiritual awakening. So this is good. Your partner is sensing that there is something profoundly important about this connection. So you have awakened this person. And this person, they feel like you are the one. And that's probably why they're weak in the knees like SWV. They can't even help themselves. Okay? Like, this person is all about you. We have three kings here. King of swords, king of wands, king of cups. Someone that is in love with you, that is mature, that's going to take control, that's in the lead, that's in charge, that wants you, that's going to pursue you, that's going to fight for you, that is all about you. Okay? Love it. And that's what you guys fucking deserve. Period. Okay? If they're not bringing that to the table, bye. All right? Check up the deuces. Okay, guys? Because all this third party marriage energy and all that, and I'm not judging anybody, but all that energy, that's just like it's time for the energy to shift and change. You know? So let's see what's going on, guys. This looks really good. Six of Cups is coming in. So let's see why the Six of Cups is here for how your person feels. Wow, Three of Cups. They feel like... <laughs> They feel like they have met the person of their dreams, the Six of Cups with the Three of Cups. There's a lot of, like, happiness, okay? Um, a lot of communication, a lot of happiness. So, definitely loving this. Let's see what else we got. Wow, look, guys, the Two of Cups. We have the Two of Cups here twice. Both you guys recognize this connection. Both you guys know that there's some type of soulmate connection. We have the Six of Cups to the Three of Cups. The Three goes to the Two. So, you are, you're the only one they want, okay? Like I said, that's how they're weak. That's how they're weak in the knees for you. That's how they, they feel like this. Like, I don't feel like no one has ever made them feel this way. I don't. I don't feel like they, I don't feel like they ever felt this way before. We have the five of wands here with the four of pentacles. So the high priestess. So like this person is all about you wanting to get to know you. That's what I'm saying. They hope that you're not holding anything back or talking to other people. If you are, they're like, please cut them off. Or this person is like, cut off the other suitors, other people. They're like, mm -mm, I don't do competition. All right. Um, whoever this person is, they're over their past. They're not wanting to go back to someone. So with the high priestess, their intuition is telling them to move on and move forward. I feel like they were stuck though, stuck on someone or like they were just kind of stuck in an energy or a cycle with someone that can also be why the world card is there, but they were stuck in a, in a energy with someone. They kept going back to a situation. that had them sad, very depressed, lonely, miserable. Okay. And they were looking to talk to someone else and they were talking to a few people in that this the high priestess is telling me that out of all the people they were talking to, they realized, like, they're like, no, there's something about this person. There's something about you guys, the collective, that got their attention. It's something about you that is different, and that's why they want to keep moving forward. They see you as their empress, and you have awakened them with the four of swords in reverse. Okay? So that does look bomb. That does look really good. Okay, so I don't, whoever this is, I don't see them going back to someone. I don't really see anybody else in their energy. Um, if this is new, like fresh, like under 30 days, I mean, of course, you're going to have to let the energy play out so you can see where it's going to go between you and this person. But 
it looks good. So, like, if they are talking to someone, not anymore. All right? We have the Two of Wands here, Five of Swords. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So, this person is like, yeah, it's time for me to grow up. It's time for me to settle down. We have the Ten of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. I want to do this the right way. I don't want to just rush into something. I do want commitment, something long-term. And we have it with that King of Swords. How can I make it happen? Okay? So, whoever this person is, like, they are ready. They are they made some mistakes in their past when it comes to, like, when it came to, like, love or relationships. But with the Two of Wands, Five of Swords, they're walking a new path, new journey. They're not the same person they used to be. Five of Swords, that can be, like, you know, like, the bullshit, mindfuckery, mind games, player, talking to more than one person. But the Two of Wands, this person has their back on the Five of Swords. They're not in that energy anymore. Okay? Or you have, you're the reason for their change. Something like that. But they're not about that. They're not about that old life. They're not about that no more. Okay? And they're all about new beginnings, moving forward. They do want to explore. They see this as a divine union. We have harvest. So, the energy looks really good, guys. All right? I don't even want to know how you feel. Because I feel like we got a lot of, like, messages here. Like, this looks really good. So, let's go on to the Empress really quick. Why is the Empress here? Wow. Attraction. So, they are attracted to you. Your captivating energy makes you attractive. You wear confidence well. They like how confident you are. You came up as a queen of wands. And we have explore. Take a ride and explore. New scenery are each other's inner thoughts. So you guys are going to have a lot of, like, you guys are going to talk a lot, communicate, explore, travel. So that looks good. Wow, this is what I love here. Ready for love. You've been understandingly guarded. Scared of being hurt again. But you took the time to heal. Now you are ready to try love again. So you guys have taken the time to heal and you guys are ready to try love again. Same can be with that person, okay? You guys are ready to try love again. You guys are just ready, right? Let's see. Let's pull another message and that will be the reading. But this looks really good, guys. I'm loving this energy. Okay, the energy is definitely shifting over here. Let's see. Messages for the collective. Wow, guys, look, engagement, marriage. That came out yesterday. So, look, it says next level commitment. Wow. Guys, this is fucking cute. Oh, my God. I love this for you guys, okay? This is bomb.com, all right? This is bomb. Let's see, engagement, marriage, cry me a river. A lot of releasing has taken place. So you guys cried a river, Okay. Wow, you guys prayed. Praying. You know, Sierra did the same thing, okay? And that's why she asked Russell Wilson, because she cried her a river. She prayed. She released. She got rid of the negative energy. I was watching her thing on YouTube, like their story, and I was like, oh, that is so cute. And she was just saying, like, how she went through so many bad situations and relationships, but she just kept praying and not giving up. And she just kept praying, 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 and then Russell came. But, I mean, not using her as an example, but, I mean... It's like for some of you guys, like you have really cried a river. You have cried and prayed, 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 cried and motherfucking prayed. So it's like at this point, it's like you're finally getting what you have asked for. Okay. We have um, seek higher power for guidance. So you guys just kept praying about the situation, but also crying, praying and making changes. Okay. Because when you're crying and praying for something better, but keep going back to the old, keep going back to the ex, keep letting them do shit. It's like the universe is like, okay, you were crying last week and prayed for something new, but now you're going back to the same situation. So, I mean, I don't, I, what do you want? You know, sometimes when the universe is trying to help us and we change our mind and we go backwards or go back on something we say, it just delays things. But for some of you guys, you guys cried and prayed over this situation. All right. And this is coming with engagement and marriage, union. You guys are going to explore. There's a lot of attraction. You guys are ready for love. There's a harvest here. This is something that is going to deepen, grow. And this person is going to, like, not saying they're going to do whatever you want, but, like, they are. Because, like, they're reading me. Like, SW, they're like, damn, I just, they really like you. And I just feel like this person is really going to love you. It's going to be very genuine. You know, like, I feel like they're, I feel like whoever this is, like, they really, they really do love you. They're not, I don't feel like this person is just going to tell you, like, oh, I love you. Just, like, getting your pants or anything like that or just to just say it. Like, this person is, like, for real. That's what I'm getting. Like, I feel like there's legit love here. 
You know, I feel like this is going to be great. I feel like this is new. It's different. It's a soulmate connection. I feel like going into this relationship or whoever this is, I wouldn't focus on the title. Don't like, oh, is this my twin flame? Or, oh, is this? Or don't even ask yourself, like, oh, are we going to talk long term? Are we going to be together forever? Is this my person? Is this my husband? Just go with the flow, guys. Just go with the flow. Don't even ask, all, don't even ask the universe all those questions yet. Don't even think about that yet. Just go up the flow. Get to know them. But whoever this is, they're all about you. Like, they're head over heels for you. They are. And they're in love. And, like, they, I, whoever this is, like, they can't help or control themselves. They are really into you. They really do care, like, about you is what I'm getting. Okay? So, that is, that does look good. Okay? I'm going to pull from my time oracle cards. And see what this is all about. Focus on your priorities. So the universe wants you to focus on your priorities, guys. Stay focusing on your priorities. Do not, um, like, take your focus off of love. Not saying that you can't focus on love, but you know, like, when you're not focused on love or you're not, when you're not focused on someone, then that's when it happens. That's when things change and shift, you know? So, yeah. Let me see look three weeks from now okay so in three weeks from now love it um this can happen in july you guys could have met this person in october of last year and maybe you guys are just like you know like getting to know each other july is significant their birthday could be in july they can be a cancer or a leo because july cancer leo energy we have October. We have on vacation. I thought you guys could have met this person and then they went on vacation or you could have met this person on vacation um, as well or something happened in October. Maybe you guys released an ex or something like that in October. But let's see because we're already damn June is already about to be here because it's the middle of May. So let's see. We have over the weekend. So you guys are going to talk, hang or chill or see each other over the weekend. We do have January. So January is significant. That can be your birthday. Um, January could be like their birthday. Um, I do love the fact that only time will tell. Because remember, I told you guys, don't focus on, like, the connection, when it's going to happen, if you guys are going to be together and all that stuff. Only time will tell, okay? Just go with the flow. That's all I'm here. Like, that's that's my biggest advice to you guys is just go with the flow, all right? So, next new moon, we're in the next new moon, which is the new moon in Taurus, guys. So, if this love has not come into your life now, or if this love is not in your life now, manifest it. We are in a new moon. Manifest this love, Okay? From now until the next week, keep this manifesting. Start seeing your soulmate or love affirmations, okay? For some of you guys, you guys have been manifesting love since the fall, and now it's coming into fruition. We do have harvest here, okay? So it's coming into fruition. Yes, I love it, guys. Love it, love it, love it, okay? Love it. September and right now. So we have September and right now. Something is happening right now. Okay, something could happen in September. Your birthday can be in September. Their birthday can be in September. I'm going to know why September is here, but something is happening right now. Let's see, why is September here? Seven of Swords. Star Reverse. So something happened in your life in September of last year or in their life of September of last year. And that's when you are this person like just completely giving up on love or someone got played, ghosted, lied to in September of last year. But the energy is playing out right now. I mean, like that's what you guys are releasing or getting over or overcoming right now. That energy. Yeah, it was with the lovers in reverse an ex. Someone from the past that you guys were releasing or needed to forgive. Something happened last September. They can be a Gemini, a Virgo or an Aquarius. They can be any sign. Okay, but for others of you, it's like even though you're meeting this new love and you like them in September, I know that's a little while from now. It's like you're really going to be over the past, the ex, all of that. And you're going to be in a better place. Okay, the star reverse is like you kind of giving up on love due to what someone else did. But do not put this person in the same category of your ex or just like don't try to compare. But oh, this person did this to me, so this and that. No, let's see. We have January, we have the six of pentacles, and we have the six of swords. So for some of you guys, this person came into your life around January. For some of you guys, you guys moved. Um, the Six of Swords is all about peace, change. It's about money, balance. So, someone is also getting their life together. Things are changing. Someone is going towards more peace, more happiness. Um, so, that does look good. And let's see, July. It's Wandering Verse, the Strength card. 
Wow, the King of Cups. So, yeah, this person could be a Leo or a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay? And you guys were waiting for, it's like, if action hasn't been taken, then things are definitely going to change from now until July. It's like, from now until July, things are going to deepen, change. Someone is also coming out of their shell. Someone's going to be, like, a lot more open. But it's like, you guys are given this time, whoever you're dealing with, okay? Because someone's coming out of their shell. Because the King of Cups has a shell above around him. The Moon. The Page of Cups. Wow, look, the Queen of Cups. That's your counterpart. So both you guys are. Maybe you guys, maybe you guys were both discarded, have trust issues, um, went through something in the past. Maybe could have both got lied, cheated on, something like that. It could be anything. Fears, you know. Um, but from now until July, like, between now and July, you guys are going to be a lot more open, a lot more comfortable with, you know, expressing your love, your feelings, emotions, stuff like that. So this is looking good. All right. So I do love this. Yay, y'all. This is cute. It's more than cute. I love this. So definitely loving that the energy in the collective is um, shifting and changing when it comes to love. Um, I love it. Okay. So um, yes, guys, I'm excited for you guys. All right. So, let me know what's going on with this new love. Y'all know I want to know. Alrighty. I love you guys. Stay dope. And I'll see you guys tomorrow in the weekend reading. Bye, loves.